We arrived to Cairo. We're here in Egypt. It was 25. Ah, look at this, look at this. So stoked right now. I've been waiting my whole life for this and I'm here. It was 25 US dollars for the visa on arrival. So now we gotta get a SIM card and make our way towards Giza. Standing outside of El Abab ice cream and pastry shop bakery. It's like a madhouse in there, so you know it's good. It's really cheap too. So we're gonna get some pastries, a croissant, and some Egyptian uh, pastries as well, and some ice cream. So let's check it out. So what was your experience in there getting the pastries? It was really hectic. It was too much energy. Everybody is just like, here's money, here's money. And I'm trying to pay and they try to cut in front of me and I'm like, <laughs> I need to pay. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. Alright, we're in Cairo. Made it down to the little shopping called Al Kahini. I butchered that, I'm sure, but it's a bunch of shopping, touristy dresses and jewelry, trinkets, all kinds of stuff. First impression of Cairo is India on steroids. It's crowded, it's dirty, it's beautiful. It's cool, man. I mean, we're staying right by the pyramids in Giza, but once you go into Cairo on the other side of the Nile, wherever, it's nuts. <laughs> So I follow the frugal traveler on Twitter and he gives you a bunch of advice on travel tips and where to eat in other countries and stuff. So he tipped me off in Cairo about this place that serves koshery. Thank you. It's called koshery Abu Tariq, which is a dish made of... Chickpeas, legumes, pasta, tomato sauce. I think legumes is chickpeas. No, it's not. 
<laughs> Looks really good. Smells good in here too. It so. Smells so good. I All don't right. know what I'm doing or how to and how eat it. How much was it? It was a little over a dollar. It was twenty-five Egyptian pounds. Yes, with the water. So it came out to fifty for two with the water and the milk. It's like two fifty or something like that. It's, it's pretty cheap in Cairo. Let's dig in. Vegan? So when you walk in, downstairs is for orders to go. Upstairs is if you want to eat inside. And it's packed up here. They only have one dish. They serve one dish and everything is... There's no menu. I asked for a menu and he's like, bro, we have one menu. Yeah. It's, what size do you want? We have one item. Small, medium, or large. Today's the day, we're gonna visit. We're gonna go channel energy from the Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramids of Giza. I always thought it was just like one giant one, and then I was like, oh, there's like three of them. And complex. then there's like nine of them, and then someone's like, there's like a hundred of them, so. Oh. Yeah, the only time we've ever been up and early and showered and ready to go is uh, three times, all right? First time was Disney World on Christmas Day. Second time was at Dodger Stadium, the last Dodger game we went to, and we got there at the gates for batting practice. And today is one of those days that we're ready to go. I'm gates so open excited. at 8 a.m. and it's like 7.45, so let's head over. Ready? Yes, right, let's, let's go. go. Let's So we're inside, tickets were 120 pounds, equivalent to $7. And everyone wants to give you a camel ride, horse ride. Well, all I want is a Egg McMuffin, that's all I want. We have this all to ourselves right now. It's 8 a.m. on a Wednesday, so the tour buses hasn't, haven't arrived. Our Airbnb is right next to the gate, so. It's all to ourselves. Our first stop is the Great Sphinx. Very mysterious. Oh my God. Very old, 12,000 years old. That's what they say, right? That's what that book said. It's pretty surreal to be here at the Sphinx, especially after all the things I've read. Uh, I learned that Osiris, the god of the underworld's tomb is linked to this and it's 90 feet, 95 feet below the ground. Also, uh, during the reign of Imhotep, many spiritual and healing ceremonies were conducted here at the front gates. There. It's said to have so many mystical and energetic powers. Uh, Edgar Cayce, the sleeping prophet, believes that this is not a creation of humans, that this is actually a creation of the Atlantean ancient civilization. And these are the remnants of this. It's it's breathtaking, it's beautiful. Come see this. Can we go down here? Yeah. We got here early, there's 
pretty much only people trying to sell you horses and camels and the rest of the tourists are nowhere to be found for now so Maria's way up there looking at trying to channel energy or something she said but it's amazing here this is super cool I touched it. We touched it. I remember in school, or at least in elementary school, when we asked our teachers, they said, Who built the pyramids? They told us the slaves did. But no. look. Pharaohs and ancient aliens built it. <laughs> aliens. Professor. It's aliens. Miss Maria says aliens. But what? look Lantians. at the size. Look at the size of these stones. They're like humongous there's no way they could have gotten them all elephants the way up there. ropes tree trunks I mean look all the way up there just the position of each pyramid there's no way that they had this kind of information back then if we're barely getting it now with all the tools and and machines and and computers how can such an ancient civilization have such precision she's on her soapbox right now Where are your I, soapbox I'm, I'm collecting rocks. Each tip of the pyramid points towards the North Star and all of them aligned are aligned as Orion's belt. Fun, research it. What you got going there? I am trying to put energy in here so it could give it to me. I'm trying to get energy from the universe. We're about to enter the Queen's Chamber. There's no cameras allowed inside, but everyone comes out sweating. Hi guys, no problem. It's the water, it's the water. It's the water, it's the water. It's the water. You will be fine. Okay. Photo. Thank you so much. Yalla, Mahrani. I've seen a bunch of people climbing, scaling the pyramids. This is like right at the bottom, maybe like 10, 15 feet. So I couldn't imagine trying to get to the top. So this guy's about maybe 15% up. All right, this guy's gonna come up to us. He's gonna ask us if we want camels or horses, okay? And then watch Maria. Watch how this happens. Watch, watch. watch. I don't ride horses. I don't ride camels. Thank you. Can I like it to go by car? No, I, I don't. I'm good. I've been here since eight. Thank you. Look, my sister sent ticket with you. We'll go to the inside of the temple and then go to the inside. No, of the I small I don't pyramid. want anything. Thank you. I've been here since eight in the morning. I don't want to deal with That's this. No money. I know, thank you. I don't care. Can I like it to go by camel by horse? Nah, shukran. Have a nice time, my sister. Thank you. I will see you next time. Yes. But when you come here again, do not call me. So no thank you is la shukran. So they won't back off until you say la shukran. Okay, they don't stop, period. <laughs> you know how many times I've tried to be nice and I've said, and it's not just here, you know, everywhere that has a tourist hotspot, they do that and I get it. But if you're not firm and if you're not somewhat of with them, they're not gonna leave you alone. So I, I really, I'm so nice, but 
it gets it gets annoying. No, how many times do I have to say, I don't want a camel ride, I don't want a horse ride. I've said it like 200 times today, and that's not an exaggeration. Here we are standing in front of, actually we're in the back, but the sun's on this side now. But we're standing in the biggest pyramid and on the complex over here at the Great Pyramids of Giza. What's this one called? Khufu. So Khufu is, Khufu's tomb is inside of this pyramid and they charge you, what, 17 bucks, 300 pounds to go inside. What's it like going inside? Uh, it was hot. It was, no, you could barely breathe. I mean, you could breathe, but it was just really hot. You have to walk up a narrow passage and it's very high. Um, it was, it was a challenge, but it was good. It was so worth it. It was so awesome. Here's some footage of going inside. We're going into the king's tomb. We're inside the largest pyramid. It's a huge, narrow walkway with makeshift stairs. I'm tired. <laughs> it's really hot in here. احنا قناة تحدي المتحدي بنصور فلوج في الاهرامات اعملوا لايك واشتراك بالقناة لو انتوا تشوفونا ودول والله العظيم احسن اتنين قابلتهم في الاهرامات هنا وبس ثانك يو واو وي سكسيدد توداي وي وين انتو ذا كينجز توم وي سو اول ثري بيراميدز اكشلي مور بيكوز ذيرز مور اوه نو وي ديد ات نيفر مايند Our final day at this Airbnb in Giza. I can't see nothing. It's like sandstorm blowing everywhere. But yeah, we're gonna miss this view. It's been awesome. Are you taking a picture of me or something? <laughs> All right, we're leaving Cairo. We're going to Alexandria. On a little minivan bus. And it doesn't leave until it's packed. Two dollars. See you in Alexandria. Oh, you bless.